Back now to the showdown between the GOP presidential candidates at the Reagan Library in California. The former president was mentioned, well, several times by the various White House hopefuls. I'm honored to be here at the Reagan Library, at a place that honors the legacy of a man who inspired not just my interest in public service, but also our love for country. In my lifetime, the greatest president was a governor from California. Ronald Reagan knew how to go big and go bold. Are we going to take the Reagan approach, the hopeful, optimistic approach, the approach that says that you come to our country legally, you pursue your dreams with a vengeance, you create opportunities for all of us, or the Donald Trump approach? So, which candidate was most Reagan-esque? Joining me now, Craig Shirley, Reagan historian, author of several books on the former president, including Last Act, The Final Years, An Enduring Legacy of Ronald Reagan. Craig, great to have you on The Real Story. So who in your mind was most Reagan-esque? I would say, it's a, I think it's a complicated answer. I think that some of them were Reagan-esque and all of them weren't completely Reagan-esque. But it is interesting is, is that they all invoke Ronald Reagan. And in fact, everybody in the Republican Party pretty much runs as a Reagan Republican. You don't see people running around saying, well, I'm a Nixon Republican. Or even um, last night, there was only one Bush Republican. The other <laughs> eight were invoking the name of Ronald Reagan. Ronald Reagan has probably surpassed Abraham Lincoln as the enduring iconic representation of the Republican Party today. All right, so I want you to listen to Governor Mike Huckabee and see what you think of this. But it occurs to me as we're sitting here in the library that most of us would like to pay tribute to a guy who when he got elected didn't get elected telling everybody how great he was. So I know that you thought, Craig, that that, that sounded particularly Reagan-esque. Why? It, it was very Reagan-esque, and it was evocative of his closing comments in the 1980 debate uh, uh, with Jimmy Carter, and also his, com his speech in 1980 uh, to the uh, Republican convention, where he said, don't trust me, trust yourself. He was very much infused with the American Revolution, which put its faith in the individual and not the state. Uh, Reagan was always about reducing power and authority and moving power away from Washington back to the individual. Ultimately, you know, for a time, he actually described himself as a libertarian conservative and then he kind of he dropped it because probably some aides said look governor no one knows what you mean anyway but <laughs> uh, he very much believed in the individual and the privacy and the dignity of the individual and that's very American conservatism finding its roots right in the American Revolution all right of course it took place at the Reagan library so many candidates talked about Ronald Reagan Craig Shirley the expert thank you